Hi guys, ready for our workshop update video this week. Got a few vehicles that we've been working on to show you and we've got a very special Range Rover P38 on the ramps which I'm going to show you straight away and uh, yeah, thought I'd show you the fish as well. They like to keep an eye on us in the office here. Okay, let's show you this Range Rover. Okay, so uh, on the ramp we've got a P38 Range Rover, quite a special Royal Edition 4.6 HSE, Japanese import, and Steve's giving it a once over underneath for the customer. A bit of a hardware inspection, so Steve, Hello. if you can give us a bit of a rundown of kind of what you're looking at, just yeah. a brief, brief Basically, one. Basically we're starting at the rear of the vehicle, we check the condition of the exhaust to make sure it's secure, yep. there's no blows at any of the joints. And um, we're going to check airbags, these are getting quite perished so these need replacing. Definitely seen uh, better seen a better birds. day yeah. hasn't it, yeah. Uh, check the brakes, the rear discs are getting quite worn, I don't know if you can see that or not, they're really really badly ridged. And very rippled, yeah. So uh, they'll need replacing. Braking efficiency well. will be down on the rear from yeah. them. We check all the bushes on the rear suspension, uh, shock absorber bushes, top and bottom, make sure the shocks aren't leaking. I've uh, got a small weep from the rear diff seal here, yep. top UJs, we'll check them, make sure they're good and tight. Uh, the exhaust here. Baffle inside has fallen out. Okay, the heat, yeah, the heat shield's secure, isn't it? So yeah, uh, that rattle is a baffle. Uh, a couple of leaks in the transfer box here. Nothing huge, but then, you know, yep, noting. definitely need noting. As well from the back of the yep. transfer box. You've noticed a couple of things that are a bit different on this vehicle, I understand. Yeah, it's got these different car guards on the uh, catalytic converters. I've not seen these before. And also this under tray covering the underside of the gearbox yep. up to the back of the engine. And there's also a cover under the front of the engine. Yeah, we've not, not seen, not, seen, not seen them on P38s before. No, we'll check all the bushes on the hockey sticks, front and rear, make sure yep. your light sensors are secure and not split. Um, anti bar links, top and bottom. All the rubbers on the front steering components. And the gauges. Rubber on the gate, gate on yeah, the CV. The hockey sticks at the front, anti bar bushes. Uh, front discs, the front discs have been replaced on this very recently, so yep. they're good. Obviously, the condition of the tyres and the wheels. Which again are new on this, the uh, tyres yes. are, so uh, yeah. Airbags, the front ones don't look too bad. Yep, they do um, look larger than normal, do don't look, they? Yeah, they don't look like your normal standard ones. Yep, there we are, focused um, on that. Sure, the front brake flexes, right, you can pull this back. Yep, okay. Check it the full length. So that's something that we do in our workshop on quite a few P38 Range Rovers. Um, give them a, a full kind of inspection underneath. This actually drives really nicely on the road. I've been down the road with the customer and the gearbox changes really smoothly. Uh, it seems like a, an incredibly nice vehicle actually, bar just a couple of little bits we've, we've discussed underneath the vehicle there. Um, I'll take some photos of inside of the Range Rover as well because the interior looks slightly different on the dashboard which is interesting to see and note. So moving on, uh, switch over to the next ramp. Here we are with the Vogue 50th then. I've just done a Facebook update on this with some pictures explaining what's been going on. But brief overview in this video, rear axles now installed, new airbags for the suspension, new brakes all round, new flexes, new bump stops, new height sensors. Underneath the vehicle, the gearbox is now installed and uh, we've repaired the floor. So we've taken a panel out of a good P38 Range Rover and welded it into place by cutting the original floor out. So that's made a really nice job of that. Solid repair there. New heat shields for the um, height sensors on the front. So we're almost ready to start talking the engine option to the customer. We'll reveal that soon. Um, so yeah, that's really good. Uh, what else has been going on? SD1 has had a little bit of time applied to it this week. Obviously we've been getting on with quite a few other projects that you've seen on our Facebook page, but we've now got the headlining installed in here. We've just got some trim to go around the edges of bits and pieces to finish that off. And we'll be applying a lot more time to this next week. But also we have managed to source the rubbers for the bumpers. These mount onto the side of the car. The rubber, um, the bumper inserts into the center of it. I think it's designed to stop the uh, ends of the bumpers flapping around in the wind and vibrating badly. So not available new anymore. We've managed to find a set of good ones because rubber does go hard over time. Obviously these are still nice and uh, soft. <coughs> so yeah, that's uh, the SD1 there. Last little section of this video then, the TR7 slash 8. It's now uh, got the Weber carburetor or Edelbrock installed on the Offenhauser dual port intake manifold, RPI ignition kit, coils relocated, relocated onto the wing of the RPI amplifier. 
been a really nice smooth job this one camshaft was in good condition so the engine was suitable for all this work to be carried out on and uh, yeah she's uh, running really nicely I've yet to actually be up the road go up the road in it I'll be doing that on uh, Monday and I reckon we'll do a little video for you all don't worry guys the engine isn't cold cold I have been running for a couple of minutes so yeah I think that concludes the end of this uh, little workshop update. A few vehicles there to show you. We'll update you again next week. Okay, um, one last little section to this video, or one picture, shall we say. We use a mobile phone which uploads straight to Dropbox for a lot of our photos and videos in our workshop. And the other day I handed the phone to Steve to do a few pictures of a project he's working on. And uh, Holly, as you all know, does not like to appear on our Facebook pages. He doesn't mind his hands, but uh, he's the elusive Holly when it comes to photos. And Steve took this photo. Enjoy. <laughs>